As FC25 is a very heavy CPU based game, I have the help for those who are struggling on 80 to 90 percent CPU usage. I want to use more of your GPU because the 99 percent of games on PC are through your GPU, which is your graphics card. So I'm gonna show you guys how to simply change your CPU to your GPU for FC25. So let's jump straight into it. As you can see, we're on my desktop. You know, I'm a big Mercedes fan. But you know what else I love? Hone GG. If you're struggling with frame rate and smooth gameplay with FC25 on the PC, this is the solution for you. Hone GG is an application that allows you to boost your FPS and performance for not just EFC25, by the way, but for any game that you play on PC. With one click of a button, Hone will detect and configure your PC optimization to suit how the game should be performing on your PC or laptop. You can see on the screen right now the difference between the FPS before using Hone and after you use Hone. It's literally doubled in frames. There are two optimization presets and a variety of settings you can adjust to tweak the game performance and optimization to your liking. You can configure as you wish and find the best suited settings for your PC or laptop as you wish. Many people have recommended me this for PC, especially EEFC 25 on PC. I wouldn't be promoting this if I knew that it wasn't going to work, but it has worked like a charm. Trust me on this one. So if you're struggling with optimization issues for your game, click the link in my description and be sure to try Hone today. Anyway, what you want to do is head to your search bar and type in graphics settings. Once you're here, what you want to do, as you can see, there's a lot of other games and other applications that you basically can see. It says let Windows decide high performance, etc, etc. What you want to do is head to browse and find FC25. As you can see, mine's already open because I've previously done this. What you want to do is find where you've saved this exact file here, the FC25 file. If you don't know or unsure where you have saved it, basically what you want to do, if you're unsure where you've saved it, go to manage, go to view properties, and as you can see right here, it says install location and it has C slash program file slash EA game slash EA sports FC25. And then you can just open the folder from here, but obviously you need to go through the navigation to find where your game is saved. The same thing applies with Steam and the same thing applies with Epic Games. So once you've found your place where you installed your game, what you wanna do is simply go to browse, go to FC25 and voila. As you can see, it says let Windows decide. Once you're here, go to options. In setup, it says saying let Windows decide. What you wanna do is go to high performance. And then it says, don't use optimization for windowed games. Make sure this is unticked because if you do play FC25 on windowed, then it wouldn't work essentially. So what you want to do is press save and that is it. That's all you have to do. The next time you launch EA FC25, it should launch the game in GPU. So we're going to try and test it out right now and I'll show you guys the result. Apologies if my camera does lag. We're going to press Alt R at the top right and as you can see, let's see. As you can see... On the top right of your screen right now, it says GPU utilization 99%, CPU utilization 30%. As my OBS is lagging, I'm going to show you guys on my phone right now in 3, 2, 1. We're now on my phone and as you can see on the top right of your screen, you can see that it's 98% utilization on my GPU and 27% of my CPU. If I'm going to go into kickoff, which I'll do now. There, I don't know what's been going on with my, um, I don't know what's been going on with my OBS. It's literally been lagging like this for constant. I don't know what's going on. Um, but essentially, we're just going to go to kickoff now and I'll show you guys what it's all about. I'm going to widescreen this lovely jubbly so you guys can see. I don't want the game to lag and I want you guys to see the utilization. As you can see, it's gone to 99% again. Um, but yeah, let's... Oh, I'm in clubs for some reason. Oops. Yeah, we're going to head to kick off and show you guys. As you can see, it still says 98%, 97% CPU, GPU, sorry. We're going to keep going. We're going to press my keyboard because my, my controller is not on. I'm holding one hand right now. I'm ready. Can I, can I go? Thank you. We're just going to press yes, yes. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Press start. And we're just going to show you in game right now see let's see what it does 
as you can see it's still using 98 percent it's dropping down to 80 this is what it feels like right now as you can see it's very very smooth on screen we're going to skip it can i skip it yep hold to skip and as you can see i mean i'm not playing but as you can see on screen right now it says now 50 percent 60 percent 70 percent so in game it still uses the gameplay i don't i still i don't know what i'm doing here but let's see what i'm doing you know what i mean like look at that look at the ball look at the dribble i did not know you could do this oh well the flip oh my words okay uh but yeah as you can see on screen right now it still says 78 percent, 50 percent. the only reason why once again the usage is so high is because of the other background stuff that's been going on here as you can see i am recording so yeah Back to my main camera in three, two, one. And yeah, that's how you change your game from CPU to GPU. My only hunch, my only issue with this all is that if you have a GPU that's a bit weaker than your CPU, so your CPU is and your GPU is bottlenecking each other, I would not recommend doing this because it can damage your computer. And I, I, I personally wouldn't take the risk. And another thing, for those who stream, make videos, clip stuff, whatnot for on PC, I would not recommend this because you guys use your GPU unless you have a second computer which is for your dedicated recording and streaming by all means you could do this but for those who don't have a computer second computer like myself don't take the risk because you're recording from your gpu on obs and other applications in general that's just how it's defaulted but the cpu side of things it would help because obviously it will balance out your recording from your gpu streaming from your gpu etc etc from your cpu it's just playing the game how it's meant to be performing so yeah and don't get hesitant when it comes to the cpu usage if your cpu usage is around about 70 to 90 percent that is very normal for a game like this because it needs that usage so make sure you remove everything in your background like recording discord etc etc and you should be good to go Comment down below if this has helped. Comment down below if you run into any issues. It's been your Borger. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and peace.